Hey guys, Brendo New Productions here, and welcome to the first tutorial on my new computer. And um, this new computer is actually pretty amazing, but anyway, um, I'm running at a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, so hopefully this will be my first 1080p Visual Basic tutorial. That would be really cool. But anyway, so today in our tutorial we're going to be focusing on how to send information from one of your applications to the next. So what we're going to want to do is, um, let me just open up a quick paint diagram here. So what we're going to want to do is, say this is the application and this is another application and um, the user types something in this application. We're actually going to want to send that information to another application. Right, so yeah, that's just what we're going to be doing. So first thing we're going to want to create is actually the application that uh, receives the message. So this one. All right. So we're just going to uh, start a new project using Visual Studio 2010, and uh, this is just going to be a Windows Forms application, and I'm going to name it Receiver. Press OK. Look how fast that loaded up compared to my other computer. That's nice. All right, so um, now pretty much all we're going to need is a label, and uh, that's it for this tutorial, uh, because we're just going to change the receive text or the label text to the receive text. So on form load, all we need to do is get the um, get the text that's being thrown at this uh, at this application. So we need to dim a new string. So dim received 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 text as string equal to and now we need to tell Visual Basic to get the actual text and this is very easy because uh, all it is is command and then open close parentheses and this is pretty much just getting the first line in the command line sent to the program which is what we need and then we are just going to say label one dot text equals receive text and then we're just going to refresh label one just in case and that is it this is all we need to actually get the rece receive text and um, uh, display it now we're of course we're gonna make a try block just in case there's an error somewhere so we're gonna do try and then catch X as exception and try and then in here we're going to shoot a message box with the error and now if we actually debug this program nothing will happen because we actually didn't send a command to the uh, application so now we need to uh, save this application I'm going to press save all and this is just going to be called receiver and uh, so now if we go into where the application is stored which is in my Dropbox receiver we can actually see the folder is created so now we need to also create a new project that will actually send the message to the receiver so this will be called the sender. So when you start this application, um, there's going to be a text box and a button. And whatever the user types in this text box and then presses the button, uh, that's the information that will be displayed in the label. So just for quick tutorial sake, I'm not going to rename or er, change the text on the text box or the button. But when the button is pressed, we're going to want to send uh, that information. So it's very simple. All we need to do is first start up the application that is receiving it. So process start start, and then the path. Um, in this case, what we're going to do is we're actually going to just drag the sender executable into the same path as the receiver executable. So we can just do my application info directory path, and then we're going to say receiver. Dot exe. Be sure that's actually what it's called. Oh no, I messed up on the naming, and I spelled it wrong. And then we do a comma right here, and then it says arguments as string. These are actually the parameters that we're going to send to uh, the receiver. So the parameters that we want to send are textbox one dot text, and then the receiver will receive this and display it in the label. So we're also going to save this project and then go ahead and build it. Make sure we have uh, receiver built. 
And now we can actually go into our file structure and grab the sender executable. And then uh, go back and place it in the same directory as the receiver executable. And now, if we um, just start the receiver executable, nothing happens, just like when we debugged it. But if we start the sender executable and then type in, let's say, hey guys, Randonio Productions here, and then press uh, button one, it'll actually start the receiver and uh, it sent it the information from Textbox. So now we have, hey guys, Brendan New Productions here popping up in the receiver. So um, this can be very useful if you are grabbing information from a database and want to send that to um, send that to a new application, possibly Excel or something like that. I don't know how it will work with Excel because I haven't really experimented with that, but I'll experiment it and get back to you guys about that. But um, uh, I'm using this in Twit Control to see if Twit Control was launched via the launcher or not, and if it wasn't launched via the launcher, launch it with the launcher. So that's pretty much a basic use of it. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks, thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed the 1080p. At least, hopefully, it's in 1080p. But before I cut off, Steam Summer Sale. Steam Summer Sale. Good deals everywhere. Add me on Steam, Brandonio21. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. See you guys.